Brightlingsource.com here, and today we're looking at a Brightling. Um, this is another um, Chronomat 44, I guess. At the at the time that the previous one reviewed, it was still called the Chronomat 01. In uh, 2011, they renamed it to the uh, Chronomat 44, and it is now the standard flagship Chronomat from the Brightling brand. Um, it hasn't changed. I mean, the the the, op, the dial options have changed a little bit, and and things like that. But the watch is basically the same. But uh, now that I've had some more time to spend with this watch, and and I'm really starting to appreciate it and, and run it, and kind of get a feel for the movement inside the 01 movement. I uh, just want to talk about it a little bit more. I mean, some of the neat stuff that they did, you know, of course, were the like Breitling instead of going to the fixed lugs, now they have swing lugs on them. Which is kind of nice, but it still it still sits tight there against it, so you don't have the the curved thing, uh, the the curved end links on it. The end links are straight and they swivel against uh, basically a flattened area there on the watch. It's kind of a it makes the watch sort of sit better on on different size wrists, I think, because now the these can swing out for larger wrists or they can tighten down in for for smaller wrists. I think that's a that was a good move on Brandling's part. Um, you know, a couple of changes I guess they made. I think I think a long time ago they uh, it would have been quite a few years ago that I think that that the the, old, the bracelets actually tapered even more than this. But uh, maybe I, I'm remembering correctly. I do remember that they tapered more than that uh, quite a number of years ago. Um, but uh, I, I, I like I like the changes that have been made overall. Uh, it's, it, you know we've been sitting with these space and in, space invaders bezels for quite a while now, and uh, they they've started to grow on me. Um, so I, I do like them now uh, quite a bit. Um, the pushers are haven't changed much. The be the the crown is still the same as it used to be. You know, uh, 500 meter water resistance on the chronomats. Um, this O1 movement to is very very robust. Um, it's it's a workhorse movement. It's you know it's it's a little noisy on the rotor, just like uh, just like the Valju was. So on the wrist, it still has a similar feeling that you would have gotten from the from the Valju 7750 based Breitling or the I guess the the, the caliber 13. So this is a black dial with. Uh, white subs. They, they look a little bit uh, metallic when you look close up closely. It's a very nice watch. wish I had a display back because I mean it's not the most beautiful movement in the world but the B01 is still a pretty cool looking movement. Stop it because it does have the, the that calm wheel chronograph as well. Um, 70 hour power reserve so it's pretty much three days uh, short a couple hours so Three-day movement, also very good. Nothing to sneeze at there. Single barrel as well. 44 millimeters, obviously, because it's called the Chronomat 44 now. Um, so just a hair under 17 millimeters thick. 16.95, I believe, is what they use. Um, it's it's uh, they they've they've uh, w with the new Space Invaders about dials. They've they've really streamlined that that Rider tab bezel, and they've streamlined the whole the whole top of the case. It doesn't. Uh, it's it's a lot smoother now than it used to be. Um, so, but it's it's a it's a really really great wearing watch. Extremely comfortable. Sort of the legendary Breitling bracelets, multi piece links here. They all they they're just very well executed and very well engineered. The craftsmanship is very good on the case and the and the bracelet on these watches. And I'm not just saying that because I'm the Breitling source. <laughs> um, comparing to other watches out there, I do I do feel that they they hold their own in their casework. Uh, I'll add this price range at least. So instantaneous date change too. I didn't uh, didn't show you that, but um, here I'll give you let you see a gander at it. Yes, I'm turning it. We're changing the hour it's the hour right now so you'll see a change won't we'll start to change right up until boom right there this one's about a minute short but as you can see it changes instantaneously you don't have to worry about uh, 
wind your watch at the wrong time and setting the time at the wrong time anymore so that's a nice feature but yeah chronomat 44 black dial white subs hope you enjoy the review have a good one guys